going on YouTube? So this is my first ever video. Um, I'm kind of deciding to do YouTube because I figured it'd be a lot of fun. There's a lot of people that seem to have enjoyed their experiences uploading videos. My YouTube channel is going to be pretty much primarily some of my daily life info, but mostly it's going to be around cars. Uh, I've been a car guy for since I can remember. Any type of car. I love cars in general. Um, they just, uh, they're a lot of fun, and finally, just recently, I was able to pick up my first, what I would consider a sports car. Uh, so that's kind of why I've decided to start YouTube now. Um, before, I just had my daily driver, an Acura TL. Nothing a lot of fun to do with. I mean, it's a good everyday driver, but it's not really a true sports car. So when I picked up my current sports car, uh, which I'm in right now, a 2007 Chevrolet Corvette, uh, I decided that this is what I was going to do. I was going to have some fun. I have a lot of plans for this car, and uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to bring you all along with me um, and just pretty much start from scratch. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the reason that I purchased this vehicle. The Chevrolet Corvette is by far one of the best vehicles for value per dollar, uh, performance wise. Um, I, I looked at a lot of different vehicles over the years. I wanted an Audi R8 since I can remember. Uh, they're just very expensive. Um, their maintenance can be astronomical if you run into problems. Um, I've heard stories of people that have been bulletproof for them. Uh, but pretty much, I kind of settled on a Corvette because I wanted to start small. Uh, I could afford more, but I wanted to I wanted to start. I wanted to start where I could have a lot of flexibility to do what I wanted with the car. I didn't have so much dumped into one starting purchase, and pretty much I could build from there. And like I said, take you along with me. There's a lot of things I want to do with this car, and I didn't spend a lot of money, and I want to talk about that. You know, a lot of people that watch these type of videos, they have dreams, and that is awesome. You want to keep having dreams. Have have the biggest, boldest dreams. I have dreams of owning awesome, awesome cars one day, but it's also great to start somewhere, and I decided that this is where I was going to start uh, with a Corvette because, like I said, it was, it was a great base start, and I can't wait to see what this will bring. I can't wait to see what... Uh, places this will take me but pretty much I was looking at Corvettes I thought I had decided on buying a C7 that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, purchase originally I even just about a month ago I've only had this vehicle about a week um, about a month ago I found a C7 in Texas it's it was beautiful it was a shark gray it was a 3LT Z51 package and I really thought I was going to purchase it. Uh, it was right right under fifty thousand, so it really wasn't that much money. Um, but taxes add up. Um, insurance wasn't actually too big, and I'll, I'll go into that on another video. But insurance was not uh, was not too bad. But taxes get up there um, where I live. Taxes aren't very cheap, unfortunately. Um, and so that was a big. Uh, a big issue. I hated. I hate paying taxes on extras. Um, another big thing being that um, you know they're just. It's a lot of money sunk in to something. And I've never owned a sports car. I really wanted to start fresh. I really wanted to. Like I said, I wanted to start where there was a base. I wanted to start where I had never, I'd never had a sports car before. Um, I didn't know what this territory laid. I knew it, you know, a lot of people know a lot about sports cars, but they don't actually understand the ownership side. So I thought, you know, let's start small and work our way up from there. And so I decided a C6, you, you cannot imagine the value per dollar you get with this car. I mean, I'm telling you right now, it's it's incredible. It is mind-blowing. I paid $25,000 for this 2007 Chevrolet Corvette. Now, 2008 is when they did the remap for the engine. So this has the original 6.0 liter. 
I have 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. This car will go, and at 3,100 pounds, give or take, um, it's pretty light. It sounds pretty good, but we have a lot to do on the sound side. There's, there's a lot that's gonna be happening. And for $25,000, <clears> I got a hell of a deal. Um, this was a one owner, an old World War vet that owned this vehicle. He owned it for 10 years, bought it right off the showroom floor. Uh, and he kind of garaged it, which is unfortunate. There's positives and negatives. I was a little worried that it only has 12,000 miles, guys. 12,000. For a 10 year old car, I mean, averaging 1,200 miles a year, it's actually sometimes not the best. So I was a little worried, but I checked the vehicle out and it was it was awesome. There, there didn't seem to be any issues with it. And so I was pretty happy picking this vehicle up. Um, I thought it would be a great value. But I'd never owned a sports car, so I thought, you know, this, this would be a great place to start just work our way up from them. But guys, I want, I want to explain. $25,000. This car needs nothing. Now, I can add whatever I want to it, but just starting out with something base, $25,000. And I've got a true sports car. This thing really is pretty fast. Yes, there are cars on paper faster and in real world faster. But this is fast someone starting out, I mean, I can burn the tires in third gear, no problem. This car will go. And when I'm on an entrance ramp, I mean, you're just, when you push it, it wants to go. It wants to go faster and faster. I mean, you really can't understand in videos when you see someone taking off and, you know, you can see them get pushed back in their seat but it doesn't resonate until you're actually in the experience of feeling all that force that that engine will put to the rear wheels. And the best part is it's rear wheel drive, it gets pushed, you have all that fun. This is a fun car to drive, and of course I've got a six speed manual. Nothing against automatics, I even, actually the C7 I was looking at came with an eight speed automatic, um, but it did have manual, the, the, the new the, the new automatics are better than the automatics that would have came in this day of age. I have, on my 2006 Acura, I have a slush box little fake automatic manual that's crap. It, it doesn't mean, it doesn't give you the experience. Some of the new ones are a little bit better, but I still think if you're, if you're buying a vehicle that's not your everyday driver, um, a manual is a great way to add to a sports car. Now, a lot of the Ferraris, the new Lamborghinis, they don't come with that anymore, but that's a whole different scene. But when you're talking about like a sports car, not an exotic, um, these manuals, they are so much fun. I, guys, I, I had a little bit of experience with manuals, and I'm learning so much with this vehicle. I mean, I knew how to drive them, but you learn so much more, and they are just so much rowing through the gears. It just adds to the pleasure. It also keeps you so much more concentrated, which is a huge plus. Um, another video we'll go over uh, about manuals. But guys, I just, I can't stress enough, finding a place to start, having huge dreams and finding a place to start, and this is kind of my place to start, because at the end of the day, this is, this is awesome value. Um, eventually, the value won't be as important to me, it'll be more just experience. But starting out, try to find a great, bang for your buck and Corvettes are a great place to start. Uh, they're not the only but place to start but they are a great place to start um, and so I really I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, it's a silver uh, Corvette and you'll see so much more I'll, I'll show you a little bit uh, more around the vehicle um, but I just wanted to start out my series kind of talking a little bit about you know what we're gonna do. We're, we have a lot to do on this car a lot and I can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, I'm also gonna go over a lot of uh, information, a little bit about what I do, you know, a little bit about me. Um, that's always, you know, everybody wants to know, you know, who the hell are you watching? What do they do? You wanna know a little bit about me? 
and so I will I'll, I'll make those videos but pretty much primarily this is gonna be a series just about cars um, I have huge plans down the road um, for upgrading from this car but like I said this is my start and I want to take you guys along for the ride um, another cool part is you'll probably be along for the ride I, I am gonna have to replace my everyday driver my Acura TL and I hope as my channel grows that I can involve you guys even more uh, you know I'm just a starter channel right now probably almost nobody watching these videos but over time as I hope the channel grows um, I can't wait to have more of you all um, you know included in this and I'm hoping once I get a small following I can get some ideas on what people recommend for um, my everyday driver that will be fun um, and so that'll be something coming up where we uh, we work on my everyday driver and that will be heavily modified as well um, just won't be a sports car it'll be something else Man, it sounds good if you like this video hit that like button and hit that subscribe button take care